Fractions. Fractions, as you know, is part of a whole. Now, in this video, we will talk more about fractions and try to understand what fractions are. So, we have four circles here. Now, every circle represents a whole thing, right? One full circle. Now, we'll do parts of the circle and then describe it in terms of fractions. So, for the first circle, let me divide it into two equal halves. So, when we say halves, that means I can draw a line like this, right? It becomes two equal halves. Now, the second circle, let me divide that into three equal parts. Now, to divide a circle in three equal parts, one way is we can go straight down here and then we break it apart like this, right? So, that becomes almost three equal parts. And the third one, let me do it in four equal parts, right? So, for that, we will draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. So, we have four equal parts. Now, what we will do is, we'll try to understand what are these parts. Now, this part, the very first one, we can shade in a color in one part. Let's say this one, I'm shading green here. So, what fraction is green? That is what we want to understand. So, we saw that we have one full circle, so that is one whole, and which was divided into two parts, right? So, when we divide something into two parts, we are talking about fractions, especially when we divide them into two equal parts. So, we draw a line like this and write number of parts in the denominator or below the line, which is two. So, we have two equal parts here, and how many did I shade green? One. So, we'll write that one on the top of it. So, if I write a number like this, which is read as one out of two or one half, we call it a fraction. So, so fraction for the time being, we can say is something less than whole because it's a part of whole, correct? So, we'll treat fraction as something less than whole, a part of whole, and we get it when we divide a whole thing into equal parts. So, here we divided into two equal parts and we wrote two below a line and one on the top since we shaded one or rather took interest in one, right? So, that is how it is. So, we say one out of two or one half. Now, here what I will do is I will shade one portion here also. Let's say we shade this portion. Now, what portion have I shaded? I have shaded one portion out of how many? One out of how many? One out of three. So, that is another way of looking into fraction. One out of how many equal parts? So, we say one out of three. We can read this as one third also. So, it is one third of the whole is shaded, right? So, that's another way of looking into fractions. Now let's look into this one. So here I will shade one of the portions and let me shade it in color blue. So let's say what these lines. Now what portion of this whole have I shaded blue? I have shaded one out of how many? One out of how many? It is four. One out of four. So in this case we will say the fraction shaded is 1 out of 4. It could be read as 1 fourth also, right? So, let's write down how do we read them. This one is called 1 half, 1 half. And this one is has a special name, 1 third. So, 1 third is shaded. Sometimes we write hyphen. It's good to write hyphen in between since the words go together, hand in hand, one third, one out of three. You could also say one out of three. And this one can be called one fourth, one fourth, or one out of four. So that is how we represent fractions 
And when we write 1 on the top, we also name them as unit fractions. So unit fractions are fractions which have 1 on the top. Now let me give a name to this top and bottom thing also, right? So my names which are universally followed, everybody calls them with those names. And those names are, for the top portion, we say numerator. N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R, numerator. And for the term, or the number written below this line, is called denominator. D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. You need to learn these spellings, right? So numerator and denominator. Now, here we have numerator as 1, denominator is 2. Numerator 1, denominator 3. And this fraction is called 1 third or you can read it as 1 out of 3. This is 1 fourth. 1 out of 4, okay? Numerator is 1, denominator is 4. So that is how we can write many fractions. Now these are special fractions. You can see all the numerators are 1. So we also call them unit fractions. So unit fractions are the fractions where the numerator is 1. Now we have got one hole left and that is for you to figure out. So let me now divide this into parts, right? So what I'll do is I'll draw a line in the center, horizontal, and divide the top horizontally into equal parts like this. And then shade one of them, right? So let me shade one of them in a different color. So let this color be this one. This is very special color. It's kind of pink, right? So this is the color. Can you tell me now what fraction have I shaded? So there are four in all. So denominator should be four. But what should be the numerator? What should be the numerator? Or is it a fraction or not? That is a very important question to answer. So, what do you think? In this case, you see that this part is much smaller than that. The parts are not equal. Well, if you are sharing pizza with your friend, or a cake, for example, with your friend, and you want to give one-fourth to your friend, will you give him this portion? You may a part with the smaller one, but that will be unfair. Do you see that? So this is not a fraction. So this is not a fraction. Why? Since the parts are not equal. That is why this is not a fraction. So we have unequal parts. Remember that. Unequal parts. So the parts are not equal. So if you have unequal parts, it is not a fraction. So you cannot write it like a numerator, denominator separated by a line. Do you understand? So we'll keep it away for the time being. Remember this thing. When we are talking about fractions, it is important that we have equal parts. So let me qualify the word parts with equal. So, a whole should be divided into equal parts and then each part represents a fraction of the whole. That is the most important thing which you learn in this video, right? So let's have a recap. One is fraction is part of a whole and when we say it normally, a fraction, it is lesser than the whole, right? And this is how we can divide a circle into different parts. We can divide it into half, one-third, one-fourth. There is no limit. You can do one-fifth, one-sixth, one-seventh. Well, that can be your exercise. So try it at home. How to divide a circle into five equal parts, six equal parts, seven or more equal parts. Equal parts is important. If you divide like that, it is no more representing a fraction. It is not a fraction because the parts are not equal. So when we write a fraction, we write a number on the top and number at the bottom. So on the top is the selected portion, right? How many did we shade? How many did we take away? Or how many we were interested in? 
denominator or the part which is written below the line is total number of parts divided total number of equal parts so this is number of equal parts right so number of equal parts are written below the line and the number written below this line is called denominator which is spelt like d e n o m i n a t o r numbers on the top are called numerators n u m e r a t o r so here we have special numerators all the numerators in our case is 1 and therefore we also call them unit fractions and we also know how to read our fractions 1 half 1 over 2 right you can also say 1 over 2 right there's another way of reading this so let me write that also here you could read this as 1 over 2 right or 1 half we can say 1 over 3 or 1 third or 1 out of 3 1 over 4 1 fourth 1 out of 4 like this you can read fractions so let's move on and learn more about fractions thank you and all the best